gruesome will be the days when those who experience the horrors of communism will vanish from this earth. The future generations must know of the tragedy that we lived in, so that they will not repeat the same mistakes we made. One cannot think of the liberties we did not have. The days were all monochrome, black and white. The Communist Party was our life, and we were its assets, while those who had all rights to rule this country were exiled and humiliated. Nothing but numbers on a yellow sheet of paper, a statistic, a nuisance. Not only could we not read the truth, but we could not read what we wanted either. We were boarded in. We had no chance to study abroad, no chance to speak foreign languages of our own desire. We had to make do with our personality being silenced, stripped down to its very core, alas, reduced to naught. But there are some who resisted. Thus, the system of oppression collapsed, and we regained our rights as citizens of the free world. My thoughts can be seen through my art and heard through my music. No idea or dream is out of reach because no idea is too bold anymore. There will always be more room for improvement, and all creative views are equally as important and valuable. It has been my dream since I was little to become a successful journalist. I have always loved observing what was going on around me, deciphering what other people were saying, thinking, and analyzing the way they were acting in order to write about it afterwards. Now for years after communism, as a dedicated history buff, I am free to search whatever info I may find suitable for myself without the censorship of any ideology, which is purely empowering and gives me the opportunity to see the world from a personal and less biased point of view. Having the freedom to study abroad opens your mind to new perspectives and lifestyles. You expand your worldview and interact with different cultures. You learn to embrace variety and keep an open mind to others' customs. Thus, I can truly grasp what it means to be a global citizen. Once I have finished my studies, I plan to return to my home country and become an active contributor to Romanian society. I'm free to illustrate my thoughts and disapprove of anything I do not find approved. I'm free to imagine, I'm free to create, I'm free to be myself. I'm free to do my research from whatever sources I may find trustworthy and above all, sources that were previously censored. I am free to study abroad and experience different cultures from other countries. I am free 